Hello everyone, my name is Tyva Littles. I got quite a few questions on how I split my text on a particular design that I done. This is my daughter's cheerleading shirt for cheerleading camp and I made these shirts for her um, fellow um, cheer mates. And I got a lot of questions about how to do this technique here, splitting the words and making two different colors. So hopefully that this video tutorial is helpful to someone. You know, give me some feedback. Ask your questions up under the video if you need additional help, but I hope that this video will cover everything. So, for demonstration purposes, I'm going to do my middle name, which is Nicole. And also, I do a lot of t-shirts. So, to give you a little nugget, um, for kids' t-shirts, I'll do 7 inches across. Or for shirts, adult shirts, small to large, I will do 8 inches across. And then for extra large on up, I would do 10 inches across but of course this is a personal preference once you start doing your own shirts and really getting into getting to know your Cricut and your technique then your technique will probably vary from mine so what I do next is after I actually use the font impact as well I downloaded that from thefont.com that is a font that I prefer to do the technique like this because I like the boldness of it and again that's a personal preference so I will do my letter spacing close but not too close like you can pay attention to that and then for demonstrations I'm going to make it bigger so I like that spacing I can check to see how wide it is I have it at eight inches so I know that this size would be great for a small to large shirt for me and then I'll add a shape which is the square and there are two ways that you can unlock this square you can click this or you can come up here and unclick it and click it so you want to unlock it and find the middle, drag the box over, okay? So now that you have your name or your wording or even your picture, you know, if you have like a picture of an apple or a star and you want to split up colors, this is a great way to do that. So after that, I'll select all and then you have this button down here called slice. Slice the two, boom. So now you can pull out pieces that you don't want. Like, I don't want that, so I pull that out, and I do delete. And then I pull this out, and delete. Ta-da! And you can actually see it's not evenly spaced, but <laughs> that's why we have the undo button. And so I'm going to do it two colors. I really like that color. So there we go. We have the two colors split up. So if you go to make it, I don't have it connected to my Cricut. But it's going to break it up into two mats. You're going to have that one and then this one. So once you cut it, all you have to do is just go back and layer it. And that was the simple technique that I used in order to split my lettering. I hope that this video was useful to you guys. I hope you can play it around, play around with it. Um, if you want to add a third color, a tricolor, you just do the same technique. You click the unlock button. And then you do that. But what I would do is I will hide that one because we're not doing anything with that. So select all. Or slice again. Pull this. Delete it. And I don't want this color. So I'll push that up. Let me see. And then I'm going to go ahead and click this again so I can see it. Here we go. And then maybe, let's see what color I'll be used for that. Oh, I guess. <laughs> so now it's tricolor. And again, when you click make it, then you'll have three different HTV mats. So that is how you split your lettering. And I, like I said, I hope that this video was useful to you guys. And good luck with your creating.